so guys welcome back to another video and in this video uh, so far we have talked about just the concepts of different types of animation right we saw how to make uh, objects fly into the screen we saw how to uh, transform one object into another we saw how to add a delay between different flying objects we saw how to change values of the objects on the screen and all that but a uh, lot of people have been asking me uh, all these are good in concept but how do we actually bring that inside our uh, screens uh, all the screens that you use you are not going to be uh, making widgets fly into that all, all the time or you are not going to be transforming widgets here and there right so uh, people were asking me how to apply all these concepts inside your flutter uh, applications so uh, this video we'll see how to do that and uh, and uh, um, i'll show you how to build a simple i'll show you how to do this animation guys just watch i'm tapping on the card it's showing a couple of buttons by say for instance this is a product or this is a course that you want to buy once you tap on it it will automatically display the two buttons once you double tap on it it automatically hides so if you have a list of cards in your screen maybe you can just tap on it once to uh, display some information or display buttons or anything and if the user doesn't want that just double tap and it automatically hides this is a cool way of bringing your screens alive right animation the whole concept of animation is to bring your screens alive to bring your ui components alive so uh, this is a cool way of doing that right you can see that uh, as of now uh, nothing gets displayed here the buttons don't get displayed here thereby providing lot of real estate for other uh, widgets to be placed on the screen as well but once you tap on the but, uh, card it automatically displays a couple of buttons which can be used to perform any action on this card so how did i do this i just moved this entire card a little bit up and showed what's beneath it right we'll see how to do that in this video okay so far now i'll simply uh, close this now let's see how to actually bring this animation inside our flutter application so i'll just tap on transform animations this is one of the posts that i made a couple of weeks back i mean last week i think uh, and while this loads this is our code that we have so far right our last video was on value change animations if you haven't seen uh, if you are just seeing this video for the first time kindly watch my videos on basics of animation parenting animations uh, delayed animations transforming animations and value change animations and then come to this video it will maximum it will take around 20 minutes to absorb all those content from those videos i'm saying that because i have explained uh, all the basic stuff in details detail all the concepts all different types of animations that you can do with flutter uh, in those videos and now we are just going to see the application part of that uh, learned concepts so uh, this is the value change animation the code for value change animation that we uh, had previously uh, and i'll take these this transforming animations code all right i have simply copied that code entirely and pasted it here and uh, for this we will need a uh, just one animation is enough i think right we'll remove this entirely Okay, and we'll remove this as well. We don't need a border radius screen or something. Cool. Now we just have one animation, and uh, this we need to move that uh, particular component a little bit up, right? So I'll just have it as zero so that it remains at the center, and then to move it a little bit uh, on the y-axis, I'll just give zero point one. you okay uh just to make you understand why i gave 0.15 on the y axis this is minus 1 this is 0.0 and this is positive 1 just like this was minus 1 0 and uh, plus 1 here it is minus 1 0 plus 1 okay so uh, minus 0.15 would be somewhere closer to the center right it would be somewhere around here right so if i start from 0 and end at minus 0.15 then the uh, component will just be pushed just a little bit on the uh, up direction i will remove all these okay and instead we'll add child uh, container 
padding edge insets dot all uh, I'll give a padding of 10.0 okay and then uh, with I'll simply give 350 height once again I'll give 200.0 okay uh, a simple container with some uh, height and width then I'll give a decoration uh, box decoration and inside this I'll give a border radius border radius uh, dot circular and I'll uh, make it rounded I'll make that edges of the container rounded okay this is fine now the next thing I need to do is I'll have this is a stack right uh, so I can simply have a row below the box decoration or oh, inside the container I'll simply have a row this is the uh, first element of the stack so it will be below whatever element we are placing on the top if we have two elements one will be at the bottom and one will be at the top right so this is the bottom one that we are constructing now uh, here I'll give child new row inside this uh, oh, sorry. cross axis alignment uh, cross axis alignment dot end and uh, main axis alignment main axis alignment dot center so that uh, uh, in the row the buttons will be placed at the bottom cross axis alignment dot end will make sure that the buttons are placed at the bottom main axis alignment dot center will ensure that uh, the buttons are placed in such a way that they are the uh, they are at the center of the uh, entire container they will be placed at the center of the entire, entire container at the same time they will be placed placed at the bottom of the entire container not in the exact center not horizontal and vertical center horizontal wise it will be placed at the bottom vertical wise it will be placed at the center you get it right uh, okay that's uh, fine this will be an array children inside this cell have a couple of uh, raised buttons okay all right now that we have the buttons let's go ahead and add the next element in the stack the next element once again will be a center child uh, this will be a gesture detector since we need to capture the tap right tap uh, of the user child container and uh, alignment uh, alignment dot bottom center and uh, uh, with once again the same with 350.0 height height will be 200.0 and uh, decoration box decoration uh, border radius border radius dot circular circular will be 15.0 the radius will be and uh, image I'll add an image this image can be anything but since I have something inside the assets directory I'll make use of that once again here as well uh, so decoration image uh, image asset image sorry assets some image dot jpg okay and uh, we need we can give a fit as well I think yeah fit is there uh, box fit dot cover this will uh, make the image as small as possible so that it covers the entire width and height of this particular container okay uh, this is done as well now we need to push this entire container a little bit up whenever it gets tapped right so to push as usual you need to make use of the uh, transform transform function transform property transform matrix 4 dot translate 
values translation values all this i have explained in my uh, basic uh, basics of animation and other videos guys so if you are new to this kindly watch those uh, grab those concepts as well before trying this out so that you get a better understanding of what's happening here and uh, we need to get the width of this entire uh, thing right so how do i get this we need to make use of a query media query basically i think we need to get the height height of the device anyway we'll, we can do it with as well but um, when you are having multiple cards in a column one below the other i think it would be a better idea if you use the height of the column uh, anyway uh, i'm not going to confuse you guys with you try that on your own okay media uh, query dot of context dot size dot width this will get the width of the device screen in which the application is running and why i will give uh, animation dot value multiplied by the width okay this will move uh, the container in a we along the y axis this is x axis this is y axis this is z axis if i give x axis it will slide to either left or right right uh, uh, left or right but if i give it in the y axis it will move either up or down if i give a negative value it will move up if i give a positive value it will move down remember what i said when i was talking about the axis this is minus 1 this is 0 this is plus 1 right okay remember that uh and then once this is done we have given the transform as well so uh, we need to write the gesture thing right okay, this is for the container no this is for the center on tap i'll write a function this is where i'll trigger the animation animation controller dot forward this will trigger the animation right uh in order to close uh, you saw that when i double tapped the container automatically moved down and closed the thing as well right so for that what you need to do is on double tap you just need to make use of one more uh, functions available inside the animation controller called animation controller dot reverse this will do this entire animation in the reverse okay uh now that this is done as well i'll simply save this and let's try running this on our Uh, emulator all right our app has loaded now let's see uh, how this performs i'll just tap on this once wow the animation was smooth right double tapping it it closes single tap it just opens double tap it just closes the buttons it was really cool right so how did we do this we are just using a couple of containers one is over here and uh, inside that container this is the container behind the uh, original image that we are seeing okay this container there is a container behind that and in that container we have a couple of buttons you see that we have a couple of buttons inside a row all right uh, the container above that this is the container above that right the one that we are tapping on that's the container above that and this container has this image on which if we tap this animation is triggered this animation is nothing but an animation that moves the uh, container a little bit on the y axis how much does it move uh, the value does it move uh, it's moving it to uh, 0.15 my negative 0.15 into the width of that uh, particular uh, screen probably we should have used height uh, uh, anyway anyway uh, you try using height on your own uh, so yeah guys this is how you bring in an animation inside your ui to make your ui come alive see that right it's really uh, good So uh, yeah this is what I wanted to show you guys today I'll also start to explain how to bring uh, I mean how to do more cool stuff with these animation concepts that you learned in these past few videos uh, if you like this video kindly hit the thumbs up button if you like what I'm doing on this channel kindly hit the subscribe button uh, if you found this helpful kindly share it with someone and help them too and I'll uh, talk to you guys in my next video bye